everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at a question that's a little tricky. What is the solution to the equation below? 4 times w equals 2 thirds. And they give us four choices. All right, so it's always a good idea to rewrite the equation in your workspace. And let's think about inverse operations. We want to do the opposite of whatever's happening to the variable. So what's happening to the variable? It's being multiplied by 4. What's the opposite of multiply by 4? Well, it's divide by 4. Now recall that dividing by 4 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So if we think of 4 as being equal to 4 over 1, its reciprocal is 1 fourth. Whatever we do to the left side of the equation, we're going to do to the right side of the equation. All right, now when we think about what happens to all of this, everything in this box here. When you multiply something by its reciprocal, it equals 1. Or if you just want to cancel out and do it that way, that's fine too. But in the end, 1 times w is going to be equal to w. All right, now in, uh, when we study fractions, we learn it's a good idea to pre-reduce. But you're going to find that the choice, if you do that, will not be available. So we're going to go ahead and just multiply without reducing ahead of time, because a lot of you would say, well, what about this 2? Let's just go ahead and multiply 2 times 1 and get the 2 and 3 times 4 and get the 12. Now notice that that's a choice. Now if we had simplified this, let's take a look at if we had done that. If we had done that, we would have divided by 2 and gotten 1, divided by 2 and gotten 2, and then we would have gone across and got 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now if we look at all the other choices, none of these are equal to 1 6. This one of course is. So even though it's not in simplest form, and I'm not a big fan of unsimplified stuff, we have to pick it. Choice A is the answer.